Yo, what's good people? It's Selector Hype TV sound system with we're outside. When I say we're outside, we're literally outside. It is pouring down with rain right now. I am in Albury. I'm gonna go and see my good friend Errol from the Earthquake Sound who has his record fair taking place tonight. I need to go inside. Let's see what's going on. I do have my card with me, so I might buy some records. But let's have a look inside. Let's talk to some of the customers. Let's talk to Errol. Let's see why vinyl is still so important right about now. TV sound system, keep it locked. Oh my God, I'm getting so Soaking wet. Let's go. Can we? TV sound system, you know what it is, select hype live and direct. Wow, it's been a rainy day. Absolutely rainy day, but I think I think the rain has just brought a crazy blessings because we are here inside Aubrey. We're talking to the man himself, Errol. Earthquake Sound, who is doing one of the first reggae record fairs. It's amazing. It's an amazing experience right about now. So it's been such a long day and I've just managed to catch him right about now. So Errol, respect every single time. You know, we, we, we want to get that interview very soon. But let's talk about the reggae fair. What, what made you come up with this idea? No, it's not my idea, you know. Barry does record fair all over the country, you know. So, um, I mean, he said to me one time, he would like a place that he can do him one. Because when we go when got a record fair, you know, probably all 30, 40 people in there I sell record too. And it get noisy and it get cumbersome and then weird and no space. So I said, well, we have a space here, so, you know, just come do it, yes, so. Now... What's kind of cool about this is it just shows how important vinyl is. Yeah. So, so when it comes back to the, the, the same thing, it's like, how important do you think vinyl is in the current market where we're living in, 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 in a world of technology and all these things? How, how important do you find these things? Well, you know what, sometimes you have to go back to basics, you know. And this is what we do. We don't forget the vinyl. Yes, you can come out with different different platforms if you want. Any different format that you want, you know. But the vinyl was the root of the um the music where we was growing up, you know. So we don't forget that and that is where we you know, we instill the um the old values, you know. And that's how it's very important in this year time here right now because you know, digital will come and go, come and go, come and go and you see CDs, them are um, and CDs, them are fade out now, yeah, yeah, man. And everybody gone to a different format, so vinyl will always be there. And my god, on might come back up still. So, I think what you're doing is absolutely amazing. You know, I, I have so much respect for you, and I had to come down here just to see the whole vibe. I do have, I got some money in my pocket right about now. <laughs> So, so if you if you was advising, you know, you know, you're an elder to me, you know. So if you said that you're, you're hype, you need to go over there and is there any particular vinyl that I should be searching out for to say, you know what, you need that in your box. If you don't have it in your box, you need to look for that. Listen, there's about fifty bucks a record here, you know, and every one of them have something in there for you. Make can't tell you where you want. <laughs> you feel go and search and. And in fact, Barry might tell you where you want more ram. He can tell you where you want, you know. But it depends on your pocket, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what, what are the prices like for seven inches right now? Because again, I'm coming from a record store where I think it was three pound twenty for a seven inch back then. Um, now you can go online and certain songs are going for 150 pound, 250 pound. Uh, as look, yeah, the, the the price range is, is kind of crazy. How, how do you find that? You know, it's inevitable that sometimes something that is very rare, you're going to pay more money for. You get what you say? But the average price for, for, your, for your tune here right now is good all 12, 15 pounds, you know? But 
if it, the rarities, because there are some rarities in there that, you know, sometimes a man can't buy so, so much, you know, and when you're playing out, you need them there in your record box, you see what I say, so, you know, at the end of the day, believe me, I tell you, say, it better you buy one, 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 and start your collection the way there, you know, so when you see them, don't pass them, because you never get them again. Yeah. Definitely. Well, people, you know what it is. TV sound system, we're live and direct. You only see me in the front room with this guy. And they, uh, not even the guy, the general, you know. This guy is, is always making me just jump in my car and say, yo, I need to come and link because I think what you're doing is absolutely amazing right about now in terms of reggae music, sound system culture. We have so many different parts of the sound system culture where it can be a clash thing, it could be a dub play thing, it could be a hardcore thing, it can be a rubber dub thing, but you, you, you always come and represent in, in a super fine style. While I'm just talking to you right about now, the last time we had a conversation, you know, I wanted to have an interview with you. You was busy. Oh boy, I'm going to France now, you know, I'm eating, I go. How was France and how was Europe? In that space of time, uh, what was you doing over then? How was it? Oh, no, well, from time to time, I used to go out and um, play roots music to the people them out there. You know, we used to do it week in, week out. I it get a clean at times, you know. But, you know, it's the work we have to do. You get what I say? But, yeah, they treat you with enough respect over there. Mm-hmm. You cannot care where in Europe you go. Even out of Europe, they treat you with enough respect, you know. And it is a respect sometimes you don't get even in your own country. So, yeah, fantastic. You know, if you get a chance to play out there, play out there. People, that's what it is. So it's the record fair. I've already just took some shots, so you're going to see what's going to go and popping off behind. Um, how often will these record fairs take place? Because I'm not, I know a lot of people them have missed some of them. Um, how often will they be taking place? Once a month, you know. We're doing this thing on a regular basis because there is a need to keep our things with all our people. <laughs> get what I mean, sir? Yeah, so once a month. Okay, so there you have it, Massive. Every month... They're going to be doing a record fair. I'm seeing a lot of vinyl around there, man. Whoa. And I'm hearing some songs, man. Where that, that. Have, have you ever been to, like, when you see these record fairs here, because, because again, when I look at big man like you, and I see, like, Hooligan is over there. I've seen a lot of big man in the business still coming to record fairs. And I always say to myself, so what? You're not having them tuning already? I'm seeing, like, the, the exchange of things. Where? It's it's kind of it's kind of weird because it's like I would have thought only man had them tune in long like like you paved the way for these songs, but we're still seeing sound man who were competing back in the day or playing against still coming and exchanging. How how do you find that? Or, or when 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 do you hear songs here and you say, "Wow, we don't even have that song there." Yeah, indeed. You know what? You can't have everything. You know, you, you can't have everything. You hear me? But there is enough of we from back in the day that. Record get teeth, record go missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? And a few will get broke along the way too. So you have to replace them, and the only place you can go go replace them is places like these. Mm-hmm. You understand? You can go a record shop and find them old, old record. Yeah, at all, at all, you know? So a record fair is very important. So you know, you come and replenish all our no record box, all we no lose, we no, we no even give away some time and decide yeah, yeah. so we shouldn't give away. Get it back. Okay, people, you know what? It's, 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 it's a good look. Um, if you don't know, it's Earthquake Sound. I've already given you the whole story. I haven't had a full-on interview with him, you know, the sit-down thing, the part where he was an impact in what I was doing in the sound system culture because there's just so many things and so many aspects where people don't get their flowers, they don't get their respect. And then as much as we move on, we're still in the same place. We're still doing big things. So, Errol, thank you so much for taking the time out right about now. We're going to um, catch up very soon. Yeah, man. Because yeah, the front room thing is a, is, is a movie. And um, is there anybody that you want to just pick up before you're out of here? And just let people know that every month we're going to be around here. You know what? Big up the whole sound system fraternity because you know, all play a part. You know, play a part in this thing here, you know. And so, you know, don't let it go. You hear me? Don't make man's fight you know, out of the business. All right, keep it going. And there you go, Happy Massive. It's TV Sound System. We are at the record fair. Shall I buy some records? Oh my gosh. I'm hearing, like every single song I'm hearing right about now, I want it. But I've got to watch my budget. 
TV South System, keep it locked right about it now. We're going to make you know each and every month right here, the record fair is taking place in Aubrey, all courtesy of King Earthquake. Keep it locked. We're out. One piece. First of all, the first time we're meeting. So I just, Errol just said, in terms of the record fair, he says, you are the man I need to speak to. So in terms of the music side, are we, are we, um, he just says, I need to speak to you. So do I speak to you in a sound system way? Do I speak to you in a in, in a record? How 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 would you like to? You know what? Introduce yourself. Well, um, my name is um, Isaiah Davis. Um, I tell about the sound system. Also, artist, singer. Many of people out there got some of my music, and you know, blessed for buying it. That's all I can say. Um, I've been in the sound business now for maybe fifty-six years. So, you know, I started as a, a, a young youth. My brother before me had a sound system called King Size. And it's through him why I went into sound system. Um, how ITAL came about in the original um, 60s, well, yes, yeah, 60s and 70s, was the fact that as a family we was always musical. But the parents then was Christians. <laughs> so we couldn't really play nothing in the house. Mm -hmm unless my dad went out and then we'd use the gram and play a couple of reggae records and this and that but the thing about it is what you had to do was play it without my dad knowing and then as soon as he cut as soon as you hear the key in the door everybody gone uh -huh. so that's how it started out then i used to run with my brothers them to some of the dances although i was one of the youngest and I remember when I was nine, my brother was playing across the road from us. Um, farm Park, them days, it, it was very difficult to find a place to play. It was mainly blues, uh, uh, find a, a little small house. Well, my, um, my, my, my brother, King Size, he had a, a lot of music and he, he didn't have a massive sound, but he had a good sound and it was always ram when he when he played. So he played across the road from me and me crawl out to the top wind and climb down and go to the session, you know, and when he see me, he slap me up and send me home and then <laughs> my dad waiting for me on the other, other side, so I two slap up me get just for reggae music, you see. So from since then, five of us are the brothers with, with some friends in Sparkbrook at the time. We built a song called Eitel. And we were playing basically all over the place. But you gotta remember something, in them days, we're not gonna van, you know. So everything a trolley. Wow. You have to push speaker crazy, box a crazy. trolley. Uh -huh. You with me? And to get from A to B trolley. It, if you could borrow a van from somebody, then it was a blessing. But most of the time, we played not too far away from the house or the, the, the lockups. So we could push this stuff, uh -huh. to be honest with you. And we did that for a little bit until we get a bit older and we could hire a van and this and that. The original Eitel song got stolen because it was a valve song. You with me? Them teeth, the valves, the, the teeth, my valve amplifiers, the teeth, some of my boxes. But no, they never teeth the box. Them take the speakers out of the box, right? And then take some of the records. Um, never find out who did it or, or why them did it but I feel say somebody who knows anyhow but such is life but like I says I've been running dances we, we, we were the original person who started Clement Road we were the original ones who started we, the, we were one of the original ones who, who ran Clement Road because I used to run Clement Road and we run other various um, sessions within the Birmingham area Right now, I must admit, it's a bit lean where sound systems are concerned. Well, no, not really when sound systems is concerned. It's a bit lean because there's no place for the sound systems to play. Are you with me? And we need more, we really need more places to open up to sound systems. But then you're talking about sound systems. What is a sound system? A sound system is a way of portraying music feeling and how you feel personally 
right? The music itself is a way of people expressing themselves. What I've found myself personally is too many songs now are not playing sound systems the way sound systems is supposed to play. Then I play it loud, like they want blood on the building. And if they my blood on the building, people ain't gonna let us in the building again. But yeah, I've, um, like I said, I've been in this business now for a long time. I love it. Um, I don't know how long I've been it still. As for the singing, I love singing. And for me, I, I will probably forever singing. But there's a lot of things out there. When you look at it, you have to consider, is that the way to go or is that not the way to go? I try and keep my singing on a level whereas I'm singing about things that happen. You with me? If I see something that happen, I will sing about it, providing the people them need to know what's going on. And, and for me, the expression of singing is about telling people what is going on. Right now, there's a lot of people just singing for the sake of singing. Most of the time, if I sing a song, there's, there's got to be something behind it, to be honest with you. I do quite a lot for that crazy man over there, King Oak Creek. Eh? And I've done, I work with a lot of people worldwide. But I'm not going to say I'm the best at what I'm doing because nobody should ever say that. I just enjoy what I'm doing. Do you know what? I want to thank you so much because I just came and I said, can you introduce yourself? And you just gave me a good 10 minute run on what you've done. And that's the thing about this, this, this whole, it's the passion. It's the love of it. It's not the, uh, it's not the me do this and me do that. And this. it's just, just the way how you just spoke and just flowed through your whole career there is, is, is an amazing thing. But you know what always kind of like amazes me is when you say so much, I say to myself, so are you still doing that at a record fair? You not have every single song already. <laughs> what, you, what? Like you must have all these songs then. Well, you gotta remember something. It's about support. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. For me personally, a lot of the things me do is not about money. Right? Because money come and money go. Yeah. Right? I am here to support King Eric Quick. I am here to support Barry. There are certain tunes which I will not have anyhow because you can't have everything. Right? Me have a lot, but me can't have everything. Right? And I get music sent to me all from all over the world to sing, obviously. And some people do send me music. But the thing about it is this you got to remember something. Everybody needs support, regardless who they is. Yeah. Right? Barry needs support. King Earthquake needs support. Right? When I do a dance, I need support. And the whole point of everything is to support each other. And black people need to support each other more. Thank you so much for taking the time out right about now. I, I Honestly, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna link up again. I really appreciate that. What you just said now, because I, I really do kind of focus on the younger side of sound systems and the young sounds and we were, we were doing it. But but you're a big man and you you have so much time and and um experience on what you're doing i don't appreciate appreciate love errol just flinging me in it though you know <laughs> no no man you're good to go man thank you so much for taking the time out let me ask you something before you go if there was one vinyl song where you was just what you was just looking through and that one vinyl song was there and you'd pay the money for it what's the vinyl song well that's a difficult one you know because Growing up, I was a Dennis Brown fan, fan, so me love Dennis Brown, me love the way him sing, me love the way him, him portray him voice and, and, and send it out to the people them. There's other, there's other artists them who, who I think um, can carry themselves, carry their voices. But for me, Dennis Brown, I like Dennis Brown music, to be honest with you. Right? So if there was a vinyl, you was, you was going through here now, and you say, why me find it? Is, that like, is there that vinyl song? No, because we have all the Dennis Brown already. Okay. There's nothing else that you... That not, there's nothing really that you kind of want. I would, I would have to like stand here and hear a tune play and go, wow, I like that. And then I would say, Barry, how much? Yeah. Eh? And then depending on how much you tell me is whether I buy it or not. But for me personally, I've been collecting music now for oh, 50 years now. So i got quite a lot of the old music i got people asking me for my own music, but I don't get nobody nothing. Right now, i got a whole heap of bashy bashy, which I want to get rid of, and I can't get rid of them. 
So, you know what I mean? All right, then. Thank you so much for taking the time out again. TV Sound System, this guy says, we're talking to some of the generals and right now, man. It's absolutely insane. We're at the record fair right now, and I'm having fun. I can just, like, sit back right now, you know, and just see what's going on. Hooligan is over there. Original Hooligan. You know the bad thing about this? I got two of the biggest dub plate cutters when I was playing Jaman. Between King Earthquake and Hooligan, I wasn't going anywhere else, you know. So, we're going to have some fun inside the background right about now. I'm hearing some good songs. So, sit back, relax. It's TV Sound System, Select Hype Live and Direct. We're here. We're going to be here. I think it's till 3 p.m. It's going to be taking place every single month. Please log on to the thing. People, it's a record fair. It's going to get bigger and better. <laughs> 